my god Hey, this is Nicole from Pretty Hard Body. Today, I'm gonna make one of my favorite soul food dishes, black eyed peas. Now, back in the day, I used to eat black eyed peas all the time with pork neck bone or pork bacon, sometimes some beef neck bones. But today, I'm making them a little bit cleaner and I'm taking out all of the bone oh, by pork fat and we're just gonna make a good, clean pot of black eyed peas. I'm starting off with two Vidalia onions. I'm dicing them up kind of chunky. The onions are gonna act as a foundation for my pot. I will put them into the pot with some delicious organic chicken bone broth and a little bit of oil, and we'll get to that part. But again, we're dicing up, not too chunky. I'm using organic onions. You're welcome to use the ones that work with your budget and palate. All right, here we go. We're grabbing the oil. I already have my pot sitting on the stove. It's been preheating and I'm gonna have all the directions down below so you'll be able to follow this um, step by step. I'm pouring my oil into the pot. I am not using a tablespoon, but if this is your first time making black eyed peas or if you're not that comfortable in the kitchen, please use a tablespoon measure. It's totally worth having it, especially if you're gonna be a cook like me. So. Once that pot is really warm, I'm going to pour those onions in. But right now, we're just looking at some of the ingredients that we'll be using. Those peas have been sitting in that bowl overnight. They're usually really small before you put them in the water. And the reason you want to soak them is so that they can puff up and they won't take so long to cook. I'm taking these onions. These are the same Vidalia onions, and they're going into the pot. This is the most important part of making your black eyed peas the onions. You don't want to rush this part. You want the fire to be medium, um, not really high because you don't want them to scorch and you don't want them to smoke, but you want them to take their time so they can release the natural sugar. All onions have natural sugar, but the Vidalia, again, that's a type of onion that's not as um, savory, I should say. I use sea salt, so we're going to take sea salt and I would use about that looks about <laughs> that looks like um, a tablespoon of salt don't worry about it we're gonna load this up with low sodium ingredients so we'll need that sodium just to make the flavor pop a little bit my black pepper has been added my onions are cooking we're looking and we're watching because we want to make sure again that they get really really nice and soft and you can always tell when your onions are cooking because they begin to look see-through isn't that something Okay, bye onions. Okay, we are here. We are about to take the bone broth and pour it into the pot with our cooked onions because we're making a clean pot of black eyed peas. Super easy, super quick, southern style, no meat. Oh, look at that. So here I am, I'm taking two more cups, I'm pouring it in, and this is the foundation of the broth. This is the number one reason why you will not miss having meat. So my seasonings, all pepper seasoning. That's the stand, that's a standard favorite. I love onion powder. I use organic ingredients whenever I can. Bay leaf that gives all of your soups and your, your stews a fantastic flavor. Garlic powder, every kitchen cabinet should have one, and black pepper. Again, I'm using all organic ingredients.
And now we're back. We're stirring our pot again. And it's a process when you're cooking black eyed peas. They do take a while. Look at those peas. You can see how light they are. They need more time. Be patient.